Have you ever wondered how your scan tool picks up live data or how that data ends up displaying on your tool's screen? The data you look at might be processed by one module, shared by another module, and then go through a gateway module to talk to your scan tool. How does it do it? Serial data buses. Let's discuss what data buses are and how it relates to topology next. The idea of data transfer on modern vehicles is complex. Transferring data through multiple sensors or modules and efficiently managing and transmitting data from those parts of the vehicle to a single point, like a scan tool, isn't done with magic. That's where data bus units come in. Data bus units eliminate additional wiring and the need for multiple sensors. The term used to describe a serial data bus configuration's design, layout, and behavior is topology. What is topology? Simply put, it influences how you access the modules with your scan tool and changes how you look at the data retrieved by the scan tool. Usually, modern vehicles have more than one serial data network and even more modules than ever before which all must obey and conform to the topology the engineers have specified. Two-wire buses have a topology that dictates they are wired electrically in parallel. A module on a serial data bus is called a node, and a scan tool also becomes a node on that bus. Some sensors and switches can even be nodes. The ADOS module will typically be connected to a high-speed data bus, like a controller area network or CAN, with modules for steering, ABS, and the engine control module. However, some vehicles might have a separate network for the ADOS modules, like the ASE L4 composite vehicle. The vehicle may use a gateway module to connect the two networks, which might be a dedicated module, or in some cases, it might be a module like the instrument cluster or engine control module that will act as a gateway by sharing information from the two networks. The peak voltage level might be 7 volts on most automotive serial data buses to accommodate resistance in the wires and ground problems that may cause voltage drops. The extra 2 volts give the network a safety buffer as the vehicle ages. If a signal was on an equal length of time as it was off, you'd have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 as the binary message being sent out which could represent what a throttle position voltage is, or a signal being sent from the airbag module to the body control module, BCM, reporting the status of the sensor. Some systems use a variable pulse width that not only toggles between on or off, but can also transmit additional information by altering the length of time the voltage is either on or off. This is how all serial data buses operate. Your technicians need to understand these bus lines, or the dotted lines at the edge of the component, node, or module that indicates where the CAN bus enters and exits. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. See you next time.